All right. Riften, I return. And before I head out to Golden Glow, because that is the reason why I've come back, why not do the Thieves Guild quest line? I think that I've leveled up my sneak skill just enough to get away with it. Um, also, I've picked up, I picked up a, uh, the Muffle spell from... Uh, uh, I don't remember his name, but I picked up the Muffle spell from the college, too, so... Wolves? Things certainly do like coming out of the thicket. Where the heck is that stable hand? It must be in here. Hello? Oh, Any here we go. With Sapphire? More skill than luck, Shadra. I managed to convince Sapphire that robbing you was good enough, and there's no point in trying to squeeze blood from a stone. You're off the hook. She'll no longer try to extort you. By the eight? You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Oh, well, I'll be certain to put it to good use. But listen, Shadra, what Sapphire said, she's right. You shouldn't be making so much noise whenever you make a business deal, especially in Riften. The place is thick with thieves. Be quiet about the business you do. That way it attracts less attention, even when it is legal. But in any case, I'll be on my way now. Until next time. Here we go. Talon. Talon. You have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. Just business, Talon. And also, that's no way to talk to someone who's doing you a favor now. I've returned with the flawless amethyst that you needed. I... I... I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we both thank you. Thank you. Now, with business out of the way, I am a bit curious. I heard you mention something about special drinks served here at the b and Barb. I'm not much of a drinker, but the exotic always catches my eye. What can you tell me? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lachance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodylic brandy, flynn, and sujama. All of those sound divine. I'll be certain to return for one whenever I'm done with my... business. But I'm afraid I must be on my way now. I'll be certain to come back and be a patron of the Bee and Barb later. More standard business. Until then... Fare thee well. Just get out of here. Oh, all right, fine. Jeez. Clearly, Talon has uh, mixed feelings about me at this point. I mean, I did kind of extort his girlfriend. So, I mean, what? I hear a dragon. All right, let's talk to the smith. I gotta sell stuff off. Hey, come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? You could say that. You're clearly very proud of your work. Impressive, I have to say. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Fire salts? That's impressive. They're not exactly easy to come by, even I as an adventurer. Going into some rather dicey situations more often than not, I... I have a hard time finding them myself. No wonder you can forge such amazing equipment, with that type of trick behind you. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. That's a shame. You know, I said that they're hard to come by, but I do happen to have more than ten pinches of fire salts on me. If it's worth it to you, and you're willing to pay, I could part with them. Amazing. These must have been very hard to come by. 
You've saved my business and warmed an old smith's heart. For that, I thank you. Happy to help, Balamant. But actually, now that I know the secret behind your forge, how would you feel if I invested in your shop? Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Then it's a deal. Let's see what you can do with an extra 500 septums. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. I look forward to seeing what you can do with it. And actually, now that we're business partners, how are current events affecting everything? I imagine the dragons and the war are... Well, I imagine that the forge is getting a lot of use because of them. People say I'm making gold off of other people's misery. But what else would I do? Smithing is all I know. Next time one of my shields deflects a killing blow, they'll change their tune. <laughs> I like your attitude. But enough chit-chat. Let's get down to brass tacks. What do you carry? I need some supplies. Take a look. There we go. Alright, what type of wonderful bits and pieces are in here? Another block chest? Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Alright, so I think that the sewer here... Eh, not unreasonable. Ooh, an amulet of Julianos. Really useful. And plenty of wine, too. I wonder what on earth was going on down here. Why is there a dead guy next to a... <laughs> guide to better thieving. Well, number one is not getting eaten alive whenever you're sleeping in a sewer, I suppose. Skeever fit through the bars. Ah, crap. I can't take a nap here. Alright, well... well... Nothing that can be done there. Here's the deal. I don't want to break into Golden Glow whenever it's broad daylight outside, so I need to take... I, I need to wait till nightfall, so... Alright, there we go. Let us now head up... to, uh... <laughs> let's head up topside and get out of this uh, cistern, or sewer. I mean, I'm a thief from the from the Rift and Thieves Guild. I'm used to sewers and the smell of shit everywhere. Oh, that must be the way... I think that's how I get back. Okay. Go ahead and just cast this. Which takes way too much magicka, because I have no skill casting illusion magic. Here we go, this is the door that I'm looking for. Go straight into Golden Glow State. Aha! I'm in! Oh man. I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm very much so out of my element. Um... For that matter, I'm used to really save scumming, or is it save scrum? I think it's save scum. It, it's basically where, you know, um, here in Skyrim, whenever you save, like, you get a perfect save file. Nice. Lots of wine. I'll fence this stuff off later. Um, you get a perfect save file. Like, you will, you will be sitting in exactly the same location, rotated the exact same way, staring at the exact same object. You know, it's it's a perfect save state that you get. And save scumming is where you literally, like, you save, and if you screw up, you just reload that immediate save, and, like, you can play for five second intervals at a time. So... Nothing. There certainly does seem to be a lack of guards around here. You know, now that I'm so used to just, like, charging through dungeons, you know, you know, just kind of blundering through the place, making noise wherever I see fit, smashing things face in. This feels really, really out of my element, which is funny because I always play a thief or a rogue or, you know, however you want to put it in all of my uh, first playthroughs. All right. Ooh, strong box. Uh, but yeah. Just, I'm so used to playing a thief, or a rogue, or, you know, uh, an assassin, the type of character who, like, you're not supposed to see. You're not supposed to see me ever. And, um, it's been so long now since I've stuck to that playstyle, because, oh, god, uh, 250 hours on, you know, the first character, where it's just like, uh, yeah, sure. Man, right. yeah. I, I, I have to be careful. How, ooh, level up. Okay, then. I'll bother with that later. Um... I have to be careful about where I cast my spells because they make noise. Um, if I go far enough up the illusion tree, which at this point I'm, I'm pr like, it's gonna, it's gonna end up happening if I keep casting uh, the muffle spell. Um, 
there anyone around here? If I keep casting... Oh yeah, sure enough, finally I found some guards. So, if I keep casting uh, the Muffle spell, I will ultimately... Um, get far enough up the illusion tree to be able to get, I think it's the silent casting perk, which is really pretty valuable, and it's absolutely necessary if you're going to be using, if you're going to play as a thief who uses magic at all, then pretty important perk to have, because it makes all of the spells, not just the spells in the illusion tree, but all the spells you cast silent to other people. Like, you still have all of the sound effects, but it's, they don't make any noise to anyone else, so that's phenomenally useful. Amazingly useful. Um, and I'm kind of kicking myself that I haven't, like, worked on leveling up illusion until just now. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm so, I'm so unprepared for this that I don't even have any perks put into the illusion tree, um, to reduce the, the cost of, like, novice, uh, illusion spells. I'm only making it by because I have a huge mana pool at this point. Mana, oh, I'm sorry. Not mana. Um, okay, patrolling guard. You know what, let's go upstairs first. But I'm, uh, I'm only making it by because I have this huge magic pool. Um, alright, how many people are there on this level? Grab all this stuff. I think I've got, uh... Thus! Yeah, sure enough, I have it equipped. So I picked this, I think I picked this up in the last episode. Uh, or... Was it... No, I picked up the I, I picked up this life detect spell from or shout from what was it? It was the it was the barrow where I found Kavozin's Fang. Ah, it was it was a place where I found Hevnorak, that's right. The great thing about this muffle spell, man, I don't have to worry if I'm running or not. It's so damn cool. Otherwise I make too much noise. I literally just I I that's the weird thing about the Muffle spell, it's so crazy valuable because you literally shut off a mechanic of the entire sneak system. Sound. That's, that is my understanding of the Muffle spell. It's like, yeah, now that Muffle has been cast, I literally do not emit sound whenever I move around. The only way that people will be made aware of my presence is if I literally walk into their line of sight, and that's actually fairly easy to get around. You just have to, you know, hang out in a dark corner and not move. I'm actually reminded of, um, Oblivion, because, like, whenever I first played Oblivion, Oblivion was actually my first Elder Scrolls game, okay? And I subsequently went back and played Morrowind, and, you know, then I was, like, super, ooh, I was super all over Skyrim whenever it first came out, but I remember reading... Uh, some sort of a forum post, I think. Yeah, do you remember those old, old those old days when there were forums? And, um... You know, you didn't go to Reddit and discuss everything, so... Okay, I'm, I'm actually gonna go back to the door here to refresh my, uh, my, my muffle spell. Because I don't want to be near anybody. One, one raw move, and... Like, it's completely over for me. So... Lost! Just to double check where everybody is. Um... But I remember reading a forum post about Oblivion and sneaking, and someone made a very, very clear case, and they were like, Listen, if you think you're going to be seen, just stop. Literally, just stop dead in your tracks. If you do that, there's a really high chance that guards, with their incredible ability to just see you, They'll just walk right past you and be like, Oh, I don't see anything that's, like, right in front of me, you know? And that, for the most part, remains... It's it's not quite as true in this game as it is... As it was in Oblivion. The hell? Must be Arangoth. Aha! The bee statue. That's what I actually came up here for. I don't think that I'm gonna, like... I don't want to kill anyone. I want to try to get through this place as, as silently as possible. Erangoth seeing me isn't a big problem. I'm not concerned about it. Sure enough, Erangoth. Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I had little choice. Why are you squatting in the corner? I talked to him, but it would start combat, I think. You just cower there, man. I'm going to leave you alone. I don't need your key anyway. There is no way I would make it through here without the muffle spell. <laughs> I'm really happy that I went through the trouble. Ooh, ooh, okay, yeah, I entered his. Uh, I un I entered his field of view somehow. Oh, okay. I was. Uh, I w 
I'm getting a little bit, uh, getting a little bit overconfident. So... Okay, so, we're done with the easy part. And... Lost. Okay, the patrolling guard is coming this way. Just wait for him to go back. And we'll be fine. Let me into the basement! Just close that. I- that's- that's actually one of the interesting things. A noisy-ass iron gate. They don't hear me opening and closing that. They don't hear me, like, picking at a- tick, uh, you know, picking at a lock. Tick, tick, tick. Um, they don't hear it whenever the, uh, the locks- uh, the picks break and stuff, so... Okay, I don't think that I need to go over there. Let's go through here. I mean, I'm- it's not like I'm- I am just leaving a trail behind me by leaving doors open. I remember this part of the game. I've only ever done- I've only ever done the Thieves Guild quests once. Mostly because, you know, like, the, um, the guild quests- Story quests, like, storylines, the, the- the faction quests, the main story, etc. Those don't entertain me in, uh, in the Elder Scrolls all that much. Like, I- I can- I repetitiously play the, uh, the Elder Scrolls games because I can completely ignore all of the guilds, I can completely ignore all of the, uh... Oh boy, this isn't gonna be easy. Okay, um... I think that I can get away with doing this. I hope that it works. <clears throat> Don't see me! What was that? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay! Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> uh, that was close. Okay. Alright, he didn't see me! Uh, yeah, but I really, really enjoy the, uh, the Elder Scrolls for the fact that, like, there are to so many dungeons that you can run through and they have their little stories in them. That's really what does it for me. So... Oh my god, that was one easy lock to pick. For eight gold pieces, figures. Oh, thank god, finally. Bill of Sale. The... Okay. This is interesting. I guess I was just hearing things. Indeed you were, mercenary. What have we got here? The Golden Glow Bill of Sale. Arangoth. This document acknowledges the sale of Golden Glow Estate and all property, assets, and materials contained within. Payment of the property has been made in full by Gadjul Lay as an agent on behalf of the buyer. As the new owner, henceforth, all dealings with a thieves' guild in Riften are to cease immediately. To deter any possible retribution for this act, you are to take immediate steps to protect our assets in any way you see fit. I think you'll find that the Thieves' Guild is far more bark than bite, and will likely avoid Golden Glow Estate rather than thin their already dwindling numbers. Good luck, and may this be the start of a long and lucrative partnership. Right, here we go. Let's hope that I don't get caught. Not nothing like lighting myself up by casting a bunch of flames. Oh, well, I, uh, I almost did the whole frickin' job without being caught. Let's just, uh, let's sprint the- let's sprint on home now. Oh, my word. That's really unfortunate. They saw me right at the end. Ah. I'm kicking myself now because it's like, man, I managed to get in and out, and the only person who saw me was, um... Oh. Erin Goth, there we go. I wanted to say Arin Lee for some reason. I mean... Arin Leaf, Aaron Goth, uh, similar starting there, but. And, of course. I mean. That. That feels good. That feels good to be able to just, like, smash my hammer into something after doing so much sneaking. I mean. <laughs> it's the Thieves Guild. What do I expect to actually have to do? Sneak. Sneaking is. It's part of being a thief. That's, that's the one thing that I like about the, uh. The Dark Brotherhood, actually. It's the fact that in, in both Oblivion and in Skyrim here, they make it very, very clear that it's like, yeah, you can do the sneaky type of, like, poison blade stabbing stuff that an assassin is best known for. Or, you could, um, you could, you, you could smash them, smash their face in with a hammer, just walk straight up to them and say, you're gonna die now, and kill them. And I, and I really like how they have other assassins, quote-unquote assassins, in the guild, who where it's like, yeah, that's what they do. That's what they do. And, you know, if you talk to them, they'll talk about it. Or if you talk to other people, they'll talk about how that's this person's particular style. Um, 
So you're not forced into doing a classic assassin style. You can just be murder. You you can be a rough, very nasty, like just, just like no finesse. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. No finesse. They make that clear about assassinations in this game. It's like, yeah, if you want, you can get go in and get out, and they'll be dead, and nobody knew that you do it, did it, or you could just walk in and wail down on them like a barbarian and be an assassin that way. <laughs> you know, like, I find that very, very entertaining. One of these days, I'm going to uh, bother with finding the back door to the Thieves' Guild, because this is a long, roundabout way. Actually, the back door to the Thieves' Guild is a little bit annoying within itself, because you have to wait for, uh, you have to wait for the, like, I think, it, I, I think it's a coffin in the, in the graveyard. Where it's like, or not a coffin, a sarcophagus, where you have to wait for it to move and everything. Kind of annoying, in all honesty. It's like, well, I mean, I'd love to press that button, but I have to wait for the animation to finish first. And, and for the thing to reset. Not really a secret passage either with how much noise that it makes. But, <laughs> in any case. Hey, Brynjolf. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Indeed it has, Brynjolf. Half the hives burned, not a single drop of blood spilled, and the safe is now empty. But I found more than just gold in there. Take a look at this. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengarth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? You would know better than me, Brynjolf. You're the one with all the connections. And you know that I'm new down here. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Maven? But I did the job perfectly. Why on earth would I need to talk with her? Uh, no. Nothing like that. You're calling on her for business. Well, if it's just for business, why not just hand the contract to you to delegate? Why would she want to talk to me directly? That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. At great risk, no doubt. But speaking of which, I just successfully completed a job, Brynjolf. It's time for payout. <laughs> of course. Your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet, lad. Uh, indeed, Brynjolf. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll get on the move. I re you know, I really need to go through the trouble of finding the rest of the Stones of Berenzaya. I think I only have eight of them in my inventory there. Twenty-four? I think twelve is the halfway mark, I don't remember. Uh, not now, Delvin. Sorry, I, I need to get a. I need to get a move on. Anyway, off to talk to Maven, and um, I think that there are a couple. Like, God, there are, there are a lot of quests here in the Rift that I haven't done, because let's let's face it, I I just haven't been to the Rift a whole lot. Uh, I've I would I've spent episodes being bombarded, but um, it's time to track down some miscellaneous.